Hey, uh, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna show you all how we can accept user input in C. Now, if you're using VS Code, we need to switch from using our output tab to terminal. And one way in which we can make that change is by going to File, Preferences, Settings, Search for Code Runner, and then check this, Run in Terminal. So then when we run our code, it will now display in Terminal, which accepts user input. Output doesn't because, well, it's only for output. And you can ignore this. This is a PowerShell command that will compile and run your C program. But if you prefer, instead of PowerShell, you can use Command Prompt. But you would need to manually compile and run your code. Since I'm using Windows, that would be a GCC, the name of your C program, hello world.c, that will compile your program into an executable named a.exe. Then just type that to run it. But I'll stick with using PowerShell just to kind of simplify things. Okay, now how can we accept user input? Let's declare a variable age, but not yet assign it. Next, we're going to create a prompt to ask the user for their age. And we'll ask, how old are you? To accept user input, we can use the scanf function. It's kind of the inverse of printf. Printf is used to display something as output. Scanf is used to read input. What we're going to place within our scanf function is the format specifier of the variable we will insert a value into. If we need to accept a number, an integer, as input, the corresponding format specifier is %d. Then add a comma, the name of the variable, but precede the variable name with an ampersand. That is the address of operator. Let's print a message that contains the value stored within our variable age. You are percent %d years old. So this is our format specifier. It functions as a placeholder, and I would like to display the value contained within my age variable. So things are getting a little bit difficult to read. I'm just going to precede this with a new line. Okay, let's try that again. How old are you? Let's say that I'm 21. Not anymore, but let's pretend that I still am. You are 21 years old. That's basically how to accept user input. You use the scanf function, use the format specifier of the variable, list the variable preceded with the address of operator. Let's try this again, but instead accept a string from a user like a name. We need to declare an array of characters and set a size. So let's create a character array named name. Now with character arrays, we can't change the size of the array after the program is already running. Let's set a max size of maybe 25 bytes for this array. If we go over this limit, this will cause a buffer overflow. And let's ask a user for their name. So we'll create a prompt, print f, what's your name? And I again will use scanf, list the appropriate format specifier for character arrays, which is percent %s, then our variable name, and use the address of operator. Then at the end, we'll display our name. Print f, hello, percent %s, how are you? Then comma, name. And before we run this, I'm just going to add some new line characters, just to make everything easier to read. Okay, let's try it. What's your name? I'll type in just my first name, not including any white spaces. How old are you? 21. Hello, bro. How are you? You are 21 years old. So now this time, let's type in a first and last name, because this is going to act a little bit bizarre. What's your name? Bro code. And this is separated with the white space. Hit enter. Hello, bro. It did not include my last name. How are you? You are zero years old. So using the scanf function, we will read up to any white spaces. So if your user input is going to include a white space, we need to use a different function, and that is the fgets function. fgets, parentheses, and there are three things we will list within the fgets function. The name of the variable, and we do not need the address of operator, that ampersand for this. Then we need to set an input size. I will set this to 25 to match the size of our array. And then std in, which means standard input. So using this function, we can read any white spaces. What's your name? I'll type in a first name and a last name. How old are you? 21. Hello, bro code. And notice that our output is actually being displayed on the next line. 
That's because when you use the fgets function, it will include the new line character when you hit enter. If you need to get rid of that new line character at the end so that it's not included with your input, here's what we can do. It's a little advanced, but we'll cover this in future videos. We'll include this import, include string.h. So using this import, we can work with strings. All we're going to do is edit our string and get rid of that new line character at the end. What I'm about to show you will look a little bit advanced, but it's going to make more sense when we get to the video on string functions. Type the name of the variable followed by a set of straight brackets. Type strlen. This gets the length, subtract one, and we will set this equal to backslash zero. That will get rid of the new line character. So again, this is a little bit advanced for us, but it'll make more sense in future videos when we get to the video on string functions. And let's try this one last time. What's your name? Type in a first name and a last name, hit enter. How old are you? 21. Hello, bro code. How are you? You are 21 years old. If you need to accept a string from a user that includes white spaces, like a first name and a last name, you'll want to use fgets in place of scanf because scanf can't read those white spaces. It stops right there. But it will include that new line character when you hit enter. So you can do some string formatting just to get rid of that new line character. And like I said, this statement here will make more sense when we reach the video on string functions. But yeah, basically that's how you can accept user input. You can use the scanf function. If you need to accept a string of characters that includes white spaces, you want to use fgets instead. So yeah, that's how to accept user input in C. If you found this video helpful, please be sure to smash that like button, leave a random comment down below, and subscribe if you'd like to become a fellow bro.